Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's review is of the latest adaptation from a video game. Anticipated by many, this is Kia's Reviews and this is my review of Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is the closest the world's gotten to a great video game film. Adapted from the hardcore violence video game franchise of the same name, the two films that came out in the 90s can now stay in the 90s, as this is a proper adaptation of the R18 Plus rated games. Following suit to the games, this Mortal Kombat movie is R18 Plus, and it's a film that embraces its rating. Nothing feels off about the graphic violence or fight scenes. It delivers on most fronts, and for a fan of the franchise, this will be gold for them, as it's a video game movie that doesn't shy away from fully taking inspiration from its source material. A lot of the popular characters are part of this movie, and in all honesty, it did feel like it was a bit hard to follow. However, once again, this won't affect the fans' viewing of the movie. The film's violence hits hard, and continuously gets more crazy as the film goes on. The runtime may be shy of two hours, but what the audience gets is finally a truly exciting and honourable video game adaptation of Mortal Kombat. The runtime may be an hour and 40 minutes, and that's why I think that, as the average moviegoer, all of the characters forced into this film was hard to keep track of. I loved seeing some of the characters that I'd recognised from the games, but I also really enjoyed seeing how much it escalates the characters from the original 90s films. I truly enjoyed Mortal Kombat even though I'm not particularly familiar with the games. However, for a movie to stick to an R18 Plus rating throughout the whole movie, Mortal Kombat is one of the few mega franchises that could pull it off, and it did. I'm glad the fight scenes were so extensive but never ended up feeling that way, and I'm also glad that they were never spread out across the film. Looking back at R18 Plus pop culture films that never really brought anything great to the big screen, Hellboy is one that has stuck in my mind. Comparing Mortal Kombat to the 2019 Hellboy film, there's a very big difference and it's not because of how violent both films are, but how the story is tackled. The story for Mortal Kombat is simple enough to follow, and it doesn't lose its audience along the way. It always feels like there is someone new to meet every 10 minutes, but I'm sure that fans of the games, no matter how long you've played them, you'll enjoy seeing all of these new characters throughout. The performances from the cast in the final act may not be what many expect or even want, and unfortunately they end up being the negative aspects of the movie for me. It became too noticeable that everything the film led up to didn't end up happening until the end, and it was definitely rushed. This didn't take away from the good experience of the movie or the fun that it entailed, but unfortunately the final act didn't deliver what the first hour and a bit had basically promised the audience that they were going to see. I can see how this movie could disappoint some people, but as a general moviegoer and not so much a Mortal Kombat fan, I enjoyed this movie heaps. Overall, I really got a kick out of Mortal Kombat with its gruesome and graphic violence and its fast-paced runtime. Mortal Kombat really is the most honourable adaptation of its video game predecessor, and it'll really deliver a fun journey for the fans. I can definitely see a sequel coming, and if it sticks to the R18 Plus rating like this movie did, I can see myself having even more fun the second time around. I'll give Mortal Kombat a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching! Are you looking forward to Mortal Kombat? Let me know below. As always, be sure to have a look at my previous reviews of Godzilla vs Kong and Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.